Let's talk about the fact that I just tried the brand new YSL All Hours Precise Angles Concealer. It is on my face and it looks so natural. It looks so beautiful. I haven't set it. I was going to set it. We're not setting this baby. There's no need. It looks freaking amazing. I was just uh, shooting uh, reels back here. It looks beautiful. I have it just so that you guys all know. On the center of my brows, I actually sculpted the top of my brows with this product under the eyes, sides of my nose. It doesn't look like I have anything on. It looks really natural and it actually brightened and balanced the under eye area. This, this right here, I'm gonna keep trying it in different ways, but this is beautiful. In today's video, okay, in today, I just wanted to brag about it because I'm so excited. That was gifted to me, by the way, and this was the first time trying it and I am shooketh. But in today's video, we are going to try the items I received in the ice cream beauty bag for the month of December. If you haven't seen the unboxing, it's a three beauty box unboxing video, but we received this palette over here. In that beauty bag, we got a base blue blutch or like a powder product. And we got a liquid shadow, which I've used along my crease as a liner too, because you can multitask this. It is really pretty. And the tip itself has a liner kind of brush. So you can either apply this all over the lid and blend out with a brush or your finger, or you can do a line. But we'll see how creative we can get with these products today. I prepped my lids with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair. If you haven't snagged my bundle, I have it linked in the description box below. Oh my God, you might not even know what in the world I am talking about. So I have a collab with Gerard Cosmetics. It is a cute little bundle and it has a clean canvas in Fair. You're getting Baradol Liquid Lip and you're getting two lip liners, Bel Air, and Sugar and Spice. So it's a four piece set for 35 tall hairs. Codes won't apply, I'm sorry, but I did it linked in the description box below. It is just a huge deal because technically you buy everything individually, $72, but you're only paying 35, it's like half price, that's amazing. But I did prep the lids with that. I am going to grab a flotty, a flotchy, a flotchy, a fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into this gray shade here. Let's just say I had a rough day today. I'm filming pretty late. I'm not used to doing that. I tend to look and feel tired by this time right now. It is 5.08. Now this is being pre-filmed. I wanna take a few days to kinda get some stuff and put my feet up and relax. And the way YouTube works, if you don't produce videos, they forget about you. And I'm not saying you guys, cause I know I love you too. But it's just the algorithm and how everything works you don't produce videos, they will quite literally forget about you. So I'm just in process of pre-filming and getting some videos done. That way I can actually take time off. That's something that I miss though, about being in the actual workforce, like outside of my house. Because everybody else gets the holidays off and gets days off and I, I get to take them off, but I either have to make sure I've pre-filmed or skip on filming and then that means you fall behind, you don't meet your deadlines and all of that. And I have this project 2024 you guys 2024 just be ready i have i have a project and i can go so many ways with it i'm so excited we're just building as we go because y'all know i never know what i'm gonna do i think i want to go with this color here it kind of looks like it wants to be a periwinkle hints of lavender hints of blue and i'm gonna apply that all over the lid from beginning to end i was able to cover the entire lid could it be Way more pigmented. Yeah, I mean, I think it's performing better than I thought it would. I'm gonna go ahead, pop some on the other eyeball. Same fluffy brush we used on that gray. I'm going to diffuse the edge of that periwinkle blue-ish color. Then I think I wanna add some frost, so I'll go into this shade here. I'll tap some of that on the inner. Oh, that one's really pretty. That is way more frosty than I thought it would be. This one's performing better than the blue. With an angled brush, I'll dip into the black and I'll go as close to the lash line as possible. All right, that black is not as black as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a, a smoky gray. All right, let's see, let's see. Listen, I think the color story is nice. I didn't think the quality was gonna be amazing. And I was right. the quality so far is just not, it's okay. It's not amazing. We can create something fun and cute, obviously, because we've got these products, but it's not gonna be the best quality and or palette, you know, we've received better. Before I dip into the little shadow liner thing, I, I, I wanna, I'm trying here. I'm gonna mix the black 
and some of this one. Let's see what we can do here. This is not the prettiest look ever, it really isn't, because these are not performing the best. And then we're gonna take a little shadow liner thing and let's try to create a line. I'm gonna let this dry. And then with that fluffy brush I used on that crease, with a little bit of black, I'll go right above that line just to emphasize that crease. With that same brush, no additional product. So we will drag whatever is left on the brush under the eyes. And then I think I wanna dip back into the black just to emphasize this outer corner a little bit. I feel like if the quality of the eyeshadows were like up there where they need to be, we'd be okay. But it's patchy and it's just not where it needs to be. But we're gonna try to fix this. I'm gonna go in with an eyeliner on the waterline. And I used my clean canvas. So you know I meant business when I went in. I don't know what's going on. Well, I do know what's going on. I'm gonna go in with my um, Lash Princess by Essence, which is actually a really nice mascara. I'm gonna go in with falsies because falsies make everything so much better. You guys know I used my clean canvas. Clean canvas is like the best of the best right now on the market. So it's not supposed to shift and move. And this blue is shifting and moving and it's slowly moving up somehow as I tried to blend around, it moved onto to the liner so the liner is looking kind of funky too and that is not cool i'm gonna grab the blush let's see let's see. i don't want to give up on it i really don't want to give up on it i'm gonna go into the blush i'm gonna grab a fluffy brush i'm gonna move around like this when it comes to the base blue products you can multitask them just because it says that it's for the cheeks because it's a blush does not mean you cannot apply them around the eyes, which I love. I've popped the lashes on. They're not like fully tucked in. I think the lashes kind of are helping the situation. And I think the eye kind of came together a little better once I went in with that blush on the like crease area. I think it just made it work. I wanna try these. These are lip tattoos apparently, and I got them off of Timu. They're all over um, TikTok but TikTok has them kind of expensive and they're always selling out. I found this on Timu for like three bucks, so we're gonna try them here together. I ended up getting a nude shade, although I don't know why it looks brown. Like, that looks like a light brown. Why do you look like that? Got like a brownie shade, like a nudie brown, and then a pink. We're gonna pop this on. There's no actual number. I'm gonna have to get the lip line tattoo. We're, we're gonna have to peel this off, but it looks like this lip liner stain. It literally says stain. And I paid for these myself. Ooh, it looks like that brow thing I tried a while back, probably earlier this year, and then a few years ago I tried a different kind. Let's see, this is supposed to be like a pinky nude shade. This better work out. And I like to round off my cupids, but I don't like to emphasize it too much. This better really end up being a pinky nude because could you imagine this ends up being like a really harsh red or brown with this eye look i was trying to survive the eye look let alone could you imagine and now we have to wait oh this feels weird let's apply some blush Ooh, hold on let's blend it out my top bun was hurting my head so i had to take it down listen she's still shiny oh, okay so yeah 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 now we can peel it off that's not pink you guys, it went dark on me. <laughs> it went rogue. That is not, I mean, it's not an ugly color, but it's not pink. It's like a, it said pink. Can I make this work? Yes, I'll just apply a lip gloss on top. It was supposed to look like this. It was supposed to be a light pink, super cute. Evidently, it didn't get the memo. So I'm gonna apply the kimchi to brighten it because now my lips are stained. Okay, that's better. And then I'll go with the Diamond Plumper by Physician's Formula. Cute, I mean, it was a mission, but it was cute. Now I'm curious about the lighter one. Is the lighter one pink instead? This one was supposed to be the pink and this one was supposed to be the light brown. I don't know what happened. This is the pink. I chose the wrong one, what an idiot. Idiot. 
stained. Since my lips were being stained, I couldn't talk about the blush. I'll tell you right now, it is super pigmented. It is very, very pretty, and I love the packaging. It's easy to open, it's easy to close, it's compact, it's slim. Super cute, definitely a must have. I know they have a blue color corrector, like in packaging like this, and they have a bronzer. I kind of want the bronzer. I think that would be really cute. The liquid shadow that also works as a liner is actually really nice. It is smudge proof, fudge proof, practically waterproof. Like I had to go in with an oil to remove. It's really nice. So I'm good with these two. When it comes to the eyeshadow palette, we have just, if you, if you got the bag, just say, hey, you got your money's worth with those other two products because this here gave me a run for my money. It started kind of to fade and there was fallout even though I tapped out. I thought it was gonna be way more poppy and intense and in your face and it was not. So that's something to be mindful of. It's not the worst palette I've tried, but it's not, it's not all that great. So out of the three items, two are gonna get a yes and one is gonna get a no. Were we able to pull a look together? Yes, we were. <laughs> but it wasn't without effort. Did you snag the bag? Did you go for the box? Or are you still open to trying both of them? Let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget, I have a giveaway that is currently live. You do not wanna sleep on that giveaway, girl. It's only gonna be open for another few days. I'll link the video in which I talk about the giveaway and the details in the description box below. It is time we say hello to Archie Squad members, these wonderful people have joined our channel as members and are supporting us at a higher level. YouTube has provided them with their own private community page. They get a badge next to their name, which the badge changes colors with the length of their term. So with every month, your color is supposed to change. Plus, you unlock exclusive perks like behind the scenes videos, pictures, and additional giveaways. If you're ever interested in joining this channel as a member, all you have to do is hit the join button below. And if you don't see it on your device, girl, do not worry. I have a link available for you in the description box. You'll see two playlists pop up on screen. Those contain way more beauty videos, product reviews, and all that stuff. I think you're gonna enjoy so I hope you check it out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!